<laughs> they are. Bottling the wine. How much we got down there? Move. Where? Move what? I'm trying to get the wine. Two five gallons and, and one six, six gallon. And a gallon. Two gallon. Yeah, a two gallon. And we already tried some of it already too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, why are you I'm gonna have to start out of the five gallon adding a little sugar <laughs> and some vermouth and some gin to fortify it, and a little bit of applejack. I am telling you how much alcohol and sugar is in the wine right now. So we've taken the two five gallon, uh, what do you call those things again? Demi Johns? Yes. And we've emptied them into this thoroughly washed bucket that the original juice came in. And we We're have aged it, we've put oak two, in there. 2% two sugar content. And the alcohol is 18%. Rinse it off, put it there for the next one. And we one. didn't even have to add any sugar from that granulated sugar, but we did add not very much vermouth. I would say you added maybe a half cup to, this is a complete five gallons then, right? Mm -hmm. And then how much gin? Approximately... Uh, um, quarter of a bottle. A quarter of the small bottle. Yeah, just having Wow. Time. So that's not much. And we added one, uh, it's a quart jar, I believe, of our Apple Jack, homemade Apple Jack that is two years old. And boy, it tastes way better than the stuff even last year because it's more cinnamony. And once you added that, it's like the perfect flavor. I mean, you, you, you taste just a hint of apple and cinnamon. Plus you add a little bit of uh, blackberry flavoring, drops, and we don't need to add any sugar to it at all now because it's like just a really 2%. nice, uh, perfect blend. It's already 2% all on its own. It's perfect. That's going to be our blend, well, at least for that five-gallon bucket. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Good. Good. <laughs> um, you need three. Three for six three gallons. Three full teaspoons. What are you adding? I'm adding potassium sorbate. It stops the wine from re-fermenting. You're making me nervous handling that over there because if you drop that in, then we're screwed. <laughs> no. Is he getting angry? A half teaspoon for every gallon, and we've got six gallons. Is he getting angry? So we're doing three one teaspoons. One. Is it starting to bubble? I'd rather have a heaping one than not enough. Yeah, it's fine. Because you know when you get the fizz in the wine when you open it? Yeah. This will prevent the fizz in the wine. We want no fizz. Ain't got no time for that. Well, He's putting a pinch in for good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, pay no attention to those vodka bottles because these are just our, our home stash for when we're having a glass ourselves or when friends are over. We can just if we overfill it, we get to drink it. Pop over one of these big old bottles. There you go. Then get the net of next biggest one. A bottle of wine and Patsy Klein. <laughs> and everything's alright. What's in there? That's what was the... that? <laughs> this is the if professional winemaker. If you overfill it. <laughs> Let's do that. There you go. Perfect. Problem solved. Steve's Very simple. over there. Corking. Corker. He's our best cork. Such quirk. a corker. He's our best cork. Put a cork in it. Corker. Literally. Look at that. What a pro. What a pro. Hey, he had the best training in this room. There it comes. And now the end is near. Is it? <laughs> no. Still in there. How much? We got a nice mix on this one too. Very, very tasty. Not too sweet. A hint of apple. 
oak, a little blackberry. It's awesome. This has been two years in the making. This one we let age for a couple years before bottling. Not on purpose. Yeah. That because we wanted to, just because we didn't have time. But that one there thing. is going to be for another night. That that's the big thing. six gallon demijohn with the Alicante. So this yes. is our Ruby Cab. Ruby Cab. Two different total flavors in both. Famous Ruby Cab. Look at all them bottles. Wait, well, Steve's kind of blocking some of them, but <laughs> we'll get a shot of them all afterwards. And then we got to label them. Not tonight. And we've got the seals that we, we will do. And yeah. Cheese and the, yeah, that's for tomorrow. We can label and seal. Actually, I think we should have Bible study here, labeling. <laughs> have communion with the homemade wine. Can you give me communion? And here we are, wine making night, part two. <laughs> this one is an Alicante, and we have chosen to take half of it, which we've added just a little bit of sugar. What else? Vermouth, gin, gin and to flavor. half of it, yes, we've added a little blackberry flavoring too, but to half of it, we added an infused simple syrup with three different kinds of hot peppers. <laughs> so. Um, it's kind of a, a little spicy wine that has a nice little finish, so that's going to be something different this year. And here's me and Steve are going to be labeling all the wine that we made last week and put that into our storage area. This one went so the now sink all of these have been labeled the for the Ruby Cab, the and that's they have to be sealed. John is now washing the bottles for the Alicante, with some bleach water. And then I gotta rinse them with clean water. And then rinse them with clean water. Very important. And then stuff. they will start filling those and corking them. Yeah, I'm, actually gonna get a, I'm actually gonna get a drink right now. Oh, you wanna, you wanna go, what? <laughs> what? No, don't do it, don't do it. Not 11. Mm, yeah. oh, you're 12, right? Yeah, you're in my way too. <laughs> How much wine is in that pocket? Tell me that. Yo, Logan. Man. How much wine is in that bucket? You know, that's what they make bottle openers for. That's good. Put the cork back in that one. Here. Steve, get a cork in that one. Put a cork in it, Steve. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, <laughs> three, six, how many is in there? Going. Three, six, nine, okay. ten, nine, ten. All right, those are our spiced wines. Right. Now the rest is going to be just plain old alacante. There's a little bit left in here. Really? You can't waste that. I'm not wasting it. <laughs> Bucket head. That's oh my, my God, wife. That's that yeah. is really, like all the sugar, like some of the sugar was down there. It's good. Mm. Apparently I will drink no wine before it's time. Or I did drink some wine before it's time and it's okay by me. <laughs> so we have finished bottling the wine and now we're just labeling them. This was the Alicante Reserve. And um, we're just going to put those labels on. And then we're going to seal the tops with some, isn't it foil? Mm, shrink wrap. Sort of like shrink, shrink wrap, wrap yeah. caps. And the purpose of that is to? You know, it's just for presentation. It doesn't... Uh, Keeps the corks in. <laughs> no, it's just it's, it's for show, so you don't see the ugly thing. The, the ugly cork top. It's a cork, by the way. Hold on a second. We got it's got this label on. It's perfection, right? Mm -hmm. I've done this many times. Check this label out. How perfect it is. <laughs> Very nice. Perfection. I did that. I did that. Before. You know how to fix the mistake? Yeah, rip it off. 
No, we just took them off. Oh, well. We have extra labels, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's what happens that's when you for, drink wine. That's after you yes. drink too much, then, yeah. then that looks fine. <laughs> okay, we are done labeling all of our wine. Fine wine. Now we have to put the caps on. All the wines underneath here. I forget how many bottles. We'll have to count them to see how many we ended up. And I still have to, on this particular batch here, I've got to draw little red peppers on them because we added a hot pepper infused simple syrup. Okay. That's a nice little spice after it. Put these on. This is a two-step process. Just so everybody knows. There's two stuck together. You'll see the finished product at the end. So we ended up with 10 bottles of the plain Alicante Reserve and then 14 bottles with the hot peppery spice. I'm just going to show you here. I'd say that's better on your knees, that's for sure. What we do, we don't use, we usually don't use a butane torch, but our other lighter's out. So you just light this, turn on low, it is a shrink wrap. Very low. Do is just shrink wrap it and it shrinks right around the bottle. See that? Oh. <laughs> Done. Let me grab another one. And then just so we got the torch. We're going to barely heat it up to shrink wrap it. See it shrinking around there. And if you do too much, obviously, common sense says you're going to burn it. Okay, we have another don't, one. Don't do it too much. <laughs> Kind of cool. We've done this before with the hair dryer too. It's a little safer, but it takes a little longer. Sweet. Learn not to burn your life. We are done. So we got 14 bottles of the Alicante with the pepper. And I put in each of those bottles with just a little marker, a little red pepper. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, I love that. That's actually my favorite from this year. I love that peppery taste at the end. I was working on the windy cab. Told you it was funny. <laughs> There you go. Some of those boxes too. And we have some upstairs.